so welcome to the next square of the 50 stitches crochet along and today we're making the mini bean stitch. This is also called the Elizabeth stitch and it makes these little beans uh, like little tiny puff stitches in this lovely zigzag pattern. So how do we make it? Okay so for this stitch we're going to use a three and a half millimeter hook and we're going to start in the third chain from our hook. I'm going to start with the mini bean stitch. So to make the mini bean, hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you'll have four loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all four loops. And that is your mini bean. Then you're going to chain one. So I'll just sort my yarn out here. Okay. So then we're going to skip the next stitch. And then the next chain over, we'll make another mini bean. So there'll always be four loops on your hook. And then just pull through, chain one. So then we skip a chain. And then we're just going to carry on this pattern all the way over through the row. So mini bean, chain one, mini bean, all the way down. So I'll just do the mini bean again. So you don't yarn over before you put your hook into the next chain. No yarning over. So just straight in. Then yarn over the first time when you're pulling through that first loop. Yarn over. Back into the same chain. Yarn over. Pull through. Four loops on your hook yarn over, pull through all four loops and that is the mini bean. You can see they're starting to go diagonal already. Then chain one, skip a chain and then the next chain goes to the mini bean. Do that all the way across your row. You should have 15 mini beans in total and your last stitch should be a mini bean. So I'm going to carry on with this and I shall see you when I get to the end of the row. Okay, so I've got to the end of the row and I just need to make my last mini bean stitch. So I'm also going to change colour in this stitch as well. And changing my colour, I've got all the loops on my hook. I'm now going to drop that strand of yarn, bring in my new colour and pull through. And then turn. And I'm going to chain two. Okay. Now from here on in, we're going to make all the mini beans into the side of the mini bean in the row below. So I'm going to pull that apart and we're going to go in here. So the very left hand yarn thread of that stitch. So we're going to go through there and make our first mini bean. Got four loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one. And it's by making the mini beans into the side of the mini bean, the row below, that's how we get that slanted look. If you go into the chain space, you're not going to get that look, it's all going to straighten up. Okay, Oops. and then we're going to carry on the same pattern the whole row. So into the side of the last mini bean. So if you look at the top, you've got this stitch here, which is kind of higher, and this stitch, which is lower. And you're going to go into kind of underneath that second lower stitch. And that is the side of your mini bean. Oops. There we go. So the mini beans don't need to be pulled up very high. They're kind of an equivalent to a single crochet in height. Okay, and you can see it's there in the side. And then I'm just going to mini bean into the side of the one in the row below. And just pull through. Then chain one and make the next mini bean. So it's a really nice, easy, repetitive stitch. And once you've realised where that side stitch is, 
to work into. It's really simple and it works out really quickly. It's a really lovely stitch. Okay, so when you, you see it starts off as having three, but once you go into the side of the stitch, it's only got two um, strands of yarn. And you can see we've got that nice zigzag pattern starting to form. So you really you need to make sure you're into the side of the stitches, otherwise you don't get that nice zigzag pattern. But that is really all there is to this stitch. And you're just going to repeat row two. So you start off with a chain two, straight into your first mini bean, into the side of that first one in row one. And you'll end each stitch with a mini bean. End each stitch, end each row with a mini bean stitch even. And that is all there is to it. So if I just go back to the original square, you can see it's all nicely zigzagged. And I've used three colours so that I can carry each colour up the side of the row without having to cut off everywhere. So for the border, you're going to do 20 rows in total. So for the border, you've got a single crochet in each stitch across. So that's a single crochet in the top of each mini bean and a single crochet in the chain one space. For the sides, you're going to make one single crochet in one row, then two single crochet in the next row. One single crochet, two single crochet, and you're going to alternate like that all the way down. And then add your extra stitch in the corners for the turn. And that is all there is to the mini bean. So, I hope you enjoy this stitch. And as always, if you have any questions, please do come over to the Facebook group. There is a dedicated post and of course you can always post in the group as well. And please show us your finished squares. I always love to see how you're getting on. So that's it from me for this week and I shall see you next time for next week's square. Bye for now.